In this video, we're gonna be using Ariane and Evans Chaco Cubano and the Twig Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. On this first day of spring, I think it is today, so I'm happy about that. And let me tell you, I'm happy about this too because this is an amazing gourmand scent. Uh, the room is just filled with this beautiful scent. Uh, to me, primarily, I get vanilla and chocolate, a very deep chocolate. But we'll show you the notes right there. There's bergamot, tangerine, vanilla, chocolate, cedar. I mostly get vanilla and chocolate, which if you like gourmand scents, this is a must-have in my opinion. Really, really awesome. Uh, the price on this is quite good. If you're a member of the Shaving Shop Club, it comes in at under $4 an ounce, which on our cost chart there is a good price. I can't tell you exactly how much because that's just the rules of the club. If you want to know how much, join the club. <laughs> exactly. But it is worth it, in my opinion. If you buy a couple of sets from the club, you've paid for your membership. So for me, it's it's very much worth it. We'll show you the ingredients right here. I believe this is in the Kaizen, regular Kaizen formula, which is really outstanding as far as I'm concerned. I'm looking forward to you <laughs> to using this today because it smells awesome. Also today, we're using one of my favorite razors to use the twig. The twig is a single edge razor and it's got that very interesting twist and a round loading mechanism. And in there, loaded, is a feather blade. Now, one of the th things I've heard people say is because you're using half a blade, you can't get as many shaves out of it. This will be my third shave with this half blade and uh, I think it'll be smooth throughout. I haven't found that you get half as many shaves just because you're using half a blade. That's just me. Uh, let's get going. I'm, I'm <laughs> looking forward to this today. Oh, and by the way, I want to show a comment here by Lee Stanley, uh, because whenever we use a product by Leaf or, um, say, Supply or something like that, I always say that these sort of razors bring people into the hobby. And let me show you uh, Stanley's comment there. Excuse me, Lee Stanley. I'm sorry, Lee. And he says exactly that, as you can see there in the comment. He found this hobby via the leaf and the twig. And so these razors have value just beyond using them. They also bring people into our hobby, which I think is awesome. And man, oh man, I tell you what, the one thing you, I know folks sometimes don't like Peter, maybe, uh, of A&E for whatever reasons, they don't. I mean, we don't all love everyone. I understand it. But one thing that is undeniable, his products are first rate. The, the quality is just, it's undeniable. I mean, it's irrefutable that they are outstanding. Now, that said, just because this looks nice and creamy, and it is nice and creamy, does that mean the shave's going to be better than if I use a classic soap? No, no, not really. Um, but it's just enjoyable. Uh, to me, this gives you additional enjoyment. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you use something that lathers up so nicely and so creamy. For me, it doesn't add much to actual performance of the shave itself. Um, some people say they get better post out of it. I don't really evaluate that because I use post shave products. But one thing is for sure. When I use these A&E soaps, the level of enjoyment because of these magnificent creamy lathers, it's just wonderful. And um, it holds a lot of water, excuse me, sorry for that noise, which does make it slick. So you're going to achieve great slickness in the soap that has the capability of holding a lot of water. So you might get some performance gain out of that. But honestly, I can use about any soap and get a great shape. But there's something about these sort of soaps that I really enjoy. And there's something about this twig that I enjoy as well. Again. This is a feather blade on its third use, and I use blades generally three times and out, or at least uh, double-edge razor blades. Single-edge razor blades, we might stretch a little more. Man, I really, really enjoy this razor. Again, it uses a half double-edge razor blade, and uh, the head is slim on this razor, and it just feels really nice. And we've talked about this before. Design-wise, do I like that sort of fat end on the handle? No. But the razor is so enjoyable to use for me. It, uh, I, I don't mind it. It just, it's one of these razors that I just really appreciate. And I've used it a number of times recently. I probably used this one, I don't know, including head shaves, 
six or eight times uh, recently, which is more than you've seen me use any other single razor in the last few months because I have so many to rotate through. But I just enjoy coming back to this one because it's so enjoyable. And it is just a pleasure to use. It's probably close to medium in aggress aggression. And, and at the end of this video, I'll sort, I'll, maybe I'll link one of my other twig videos unless, in case you want all the details on this razor. Cost and all that stuff. Today, I just want to use it and enjoy it, you know, without having to worry about running down all that stuff for you. By the way, uh, if you're looking for something, you can always use the search feature of the channel here. You'll be surprised how many times I get questions from people on, or they ask me, can you try this? And I'll go, I already did just two weeks ago. <laughs> or they'll say, what about this or this? And I'll go, I already did. And I'll link it for them. Also, I want to remind you once again, the products that I'm using today, I will link below. Or at least the manufacturer at a bare minimum. So always check there. That's another question that I get a lot. Where do you get this? And I'll say links or in the description below the video. A lot of people don't see those, which is why I keep mentioning it. All right. That was a very nice first pass. If you're a gourmand lover, easy for you to say, tongue twisted. If you are a lover of gourmand scents, let's put it that way. This, uh, this soap is just fantastic. <laughs> it just smells great in the, in the, the bathroom here just smells amazing. By the way, we will announce uh, our first winner for the giveaways from last week. Thank you all for joining. The first winner, and I was really excited when I saw this big dude, Barbus. We'll put it up there on the screen for you. He is the winner of the Soap Commander soap and the uh, Martin DeCondra um, bar soap. Uh, I, I always like it when I hit the randomizer. And by the way, I use the YouTube um, random comment picker uh, to draw the, the names. And when it, one comes up like that, that I know I, I'm always happy for them. And of course, I'm happy for everyone who wins. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, the Barbers guys are always out there getting after it, supporting people. So it was nice to see him get a win also. Don't worry. We have a, another giveaway up this week. So roll on over there and enter for that one, if you please. Man, this soap oh, smells nice. And I'm telling you, this can take more water. It's been sitting out for a little bit. And sometimes it, uh, as it sits out, it loses its water while I'm talking and also... I'll make it right before my wife gets up and then she has to come in here and use the restroom and everything. But um, So sometimes it sits and it loses a little hydration. And I'm telling you right now, the quality of the A&E product is just exceptional. Uh, but I always like to mention, I'll be the first one to tell you always, um, I can use a, a, a cheap tube cream that costs $1.99 and get an excellent shave almost every single time. But some products like this one, due to their scent or that just creamy consistency of the lather or the way it feels on your face, adds to the enjoyment. And for me, the number one thing that, that is important to me is enjoyment. That's why I do this, primarily for enjoyment. And so if, if I'm hitting the mark on enjoyment, you know, that's that's my first goal. And after that goal, of, of course, is advocacy for the hobby and showing off these products and so on and so forth. But enjoyment is number one. And so when I buy a product like this A&E, the enjoyment is such that it, it's worth it for me, even though I can get a good shape every single day with Arco all the time, 100% of the time. I've had no problem mechanically with uh, Arco. Because it's plenty slick enough, it will lather well, it will do everything I need it to do. But, but, it doesn't have this amazing scent. It's not going to be quite as creamy. It's just, you know what I mean? There's something about, um, those of us who try a lot of different soaps, there's something about enjoying the characteristics of these different soaps. Now, if you are just uh, shaving for utilitarian sort of purpose and you just want to get an excellent uh, shave you're not concerned with the scent or maybe lathering uh, soap 
and enjoying making the lather and it being creamy and so on, then you can just pretty much buy almost anything that you see people using. If you see a product being used a lot, chances are it's pretty good. So you could buy anything. Anything from Perazzo, Arco, any of the classics work just great. And that's often a debate in the uh, community. Is something better than something? Well, it depend, depends on what you mean by better. To me, I also factor in enjoyment. And so when you factor in enjoyment, a soap like this is going to be way better than most because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But mechanically, a lot of times, you know, almost every soap works great. Uh, okay, let's get on with the second winner. Uh, and the second winner was Nick Clay. We'll put it up there for you. And he wins the Murphy and McNeil one pound of soap. Um, by the way, the, the first giveaway, the soap commander was provided by the Razor Company. Thank you, Razor Company. And the second was provided by Rick of uh, Sebum Gold and, and Fat Cheek. So thank you, Rick. And these, uh, these giveaways will be ongoing for a few more weeks yet, at least. So hang around. Maybe you'll win. And what I do is I just point the uh, YouTube random comment picker to the video, you know, and I type in whatever it's looking for, like the hashtag I asked for, and it does the picking. So I don't have any involvement in that process other than copying the URL and the options into the random comment picker, and then it spits out whoever it is. So sometimes people have won twice. Uh, so that does happen. I'm going to tell you right now, oh, what a scent. Gourmand lovers, I'm telling you right now, this one should be in your inventory. <laughs> if you, especially if you think vanilla and chocolate sounds great, it's beautiful. It's fantastic, and the quality. Again, you you know, I know there's a lot of hype around A and E, but in my view, in terms of the quality of the soap, it's warranted. And I tend to like most of Pete's scents. I don't like them all, because every now and then he makes a. Uh, soaps with a janky cannabis scent to them. And to, now, if you like the scent of cannabis, I'm not saying you're janky, but I don't like, you know, the, it's, uh, I don't like the smell of it. It's, it's sort of skunky to me. Um, pungent, I, I don't know the best way to describe, but it's a, it's not a pleasant scent to my nose. If you like it, of course, that is perfectly okay. And most people do, because people go nuts over like um, Khalifa, which I thought I would like, and I actually did like it when I was um, smelling it out of the jar. But ultimately, when that cannabis sort of note reared its head, I didn't care that much for it. Um, and so I did move that one along. Because I'm not gonna keep scents that I don't like, but most of Pete's scents I find myself enjoying. And that this razor, the blade on uh, shave number three, still going strong. I really like using this twig. Again, if you want to hear more about the razor, I'll put one of the twig videos. Uh, there'll be slides at the end of this um, shave, and one of them will be a list of tutorials, like a playlist. And the other one will be, I'll, I'll drop in one of the twig videos where I talk more about the razor and the cost and all that kind of stuff. Very nice. It's a nice shaver. And again, when it comes to blades, I know someone was telling me you're not getting any more value because you would only get, so I use, uh, let, let's just say you used a DE blade for four shades. I don't, I do three, but they were saying you would only get two shaves out of a half DE blade, whereas you would get four out of a full DE blade because you're using both sides. For me, I find that I'm still getting the mileage out of a half blade. That's just me. You may not find that to be true, but I find that I am achieving value where it comes to blades because I'll still use a half DE blade three times, just like I would use a full DE blade. And it's not feeling tuggy at all. And I think the the feather is a good pairing for this razor. Very nice. I would say close to medium efficiency on this razor again. And of course it's gliding very nicely over the A&E soap. No problems whatsoever. Very, very nice. 
just a really enjoyable shave. And again, thank you all for, for coming by again. I always appreciate you. And do stay tuned to the end, end of the video for those uh, slides. Again, the playlist. And I'll, I'll uh, pick another leaf, or excuse me, not leaf, but twig video for you. In the event that this is the first time you've seen this razor, because we do have new people coming to the channel. And also, I highly encourage you to use the search feature on the channel. If you're looking for something, chances are I might have done it because I, you know, I use a lot of different products. I don't use every single thing, but I use a lot. So search the channel and you might find that it's there for you. All right. That was a fantastic shave. <laughs> really enjoyable. Let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse. We followed that with the PAA alum. No stinging whatsoever, so that was very nice. Follow that cold water rinse. And then we used, of course, our Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. Um, boy, this was an enjoyable, an enjoyable shave. The A&E Chaco Cubano. If you are a, a lover of gourmand, gourmand scents, this is must-have in my opinion. If chocolate and vanilla smell or sounds great to you, Big thumbs up, you will enjoy it. The A and E synthetic brush, I absolutely love it. It is a great brush. We used our Captain's Choice bowl, which is our daily driving bowl. We used the twig, which I absolutely love with a feather half DE blade on its third use. Super nice, super smooth, really enjoyed it. And we're gonna close things out today with the Chaco Cubano splash, which I expect to be outstanding. And let's see how it is. We don't wanna use too much. Oh yeah, woo, great, great, that smells so good. And I know some, uh, folks like David don't like gourmand scents, so short David, but uh, this just smells great. And we are off to having a great day today. I hope wherever you are, you have an excellent day as well. Until next time, I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.